Hello, I'm Major Chris Whip, and this is the Apache Attack Helicopter. The first thing you might notice about the Apache is the sheer size of it. 58 foot long, rotor diameter of 48 feet and over 13 feet high. The size of a bus, weighing upwards of over 10 tonnes, pulling almost 2G, that's upwards of 20 tonnes. That's a big aircraft to be as manoeuvrable as it certainly is in the sky. Now, part of the secret for this is why it's such an effective attack helicopter is its sight and sensor suite. And it's the TADS, the target acquisition and designation system at the front here, that's the secret to that. On one side we have an infrared, capable of up to 40 times magnification and also enabling to the, uh, the aircraft to be flown under infrared conditions. That's not requiring uh, any millilux levels or image intensification, so we can fly in just about all weathers. On the other side we have DATV, capable of 127 times magnification. Now, that enables us to A, stand off the target if we need to, or indeed zoom into the target area to ensure that we're actually acquiring what we think is either the enemy or confirming friendly forces locations or confirming that it's actually civilian, really nothing to do with the situation as is. Obviously two seats in the Apache. Front seat, generally termed the co-pilot gunner. Most of the operations of the weapon systems will be controlled from here. And in general terms, the commander will sit in the front seat. Rear seat is the pilot seat. In general terms, this will be where the, the actual control of the aircraft is done. And the helmet itself is designed to be as an integral part of the aircraft system. And loaded to that is this monocle. It goes on the right hand side of the aircraft, of the helmet rather, uh, and fits over the right, hand, right eye. And in your right eye, you can see all the information that you require, either for weaponeering or indeed flying the aircraft. So, all the flight symbology that you're used to seeing on, on analog or indeed digital shows on the uh, multi purpose displays, you can actually see in your right eye at all times. It's also through this monocle that you'll see the image portrayed from the forward looking infrared system. Uh, therefore, you're flying around at night on that image portrayed in your eye. Again, we don't need ambient light, we don't need image intensification, it's all done through infrared. Looking under the belly of the aircraft, we see the, uh, the gun. This is a 30mm cannon. Uh, the cannon itself, we carry about 1100 rounds uh, on board of uh, 30mm. It can be two different types of munition really, either point detonating high explosives or indeed a dual purpose. Now the dual purpose round at the front of the round has a shaped charge capable of penetrating a certain extent of armour. But the gun itself, extremely accurate, fires around 625 uh, rounds per minute, which roughly equates to 10 rounds per second. Now there's a rumour, pretty much set out for the, uh, by the manufacturers themselves I'm sure, that it was so accurate they've actually built an inaccuracy into it because it's supposed to be an area weapon system. Uh, and obviously we don't want a grouping too tight when we're trying to, uh, to defeat an enemy uh, on a wider area. Moving back to the, uh, the wing pylons here, again we can carry a number of different munitions. At the moment on the outboard uh, pylon we have the CRV-7 rocket pod. We can carry uh, 19 rockets in each pod. We could carry four of these pods on the aircraft at any one time. On the inboard station there at the moment, this is the, uh, the Hellfire rails. At the moment we've got two drill missiles on the uh, lower uh, stations for the display purpose, but that can carry as you can see four. And each pylon could carry four. So again, we could have 16 um, missiles on board at any one time. If you look to the uh, top of the aircraft, you can see the distinctive dome which you'll see on all of the UK Apaches. That's the fire control radar, capable of detecting over a thousand targets, classifying over 200, and prioritizing 16. Why 16? Because we can carry 16 Hellfire missiles, and that's what it's designed to, to detect. Anti-armor targets detected from the radar, honed in directly to the uh, missiles themselves. The Apache's powered by two Rolls-Royce turbo mechanical engines. 
both capable of over 2,100 shaft horsepower on takeoff. You can see by their um, mounting on the aircraft, they're separated just about as far as they could possibly be. This is again one of the protection measures on the aircraft designed to uh, keep the aircraft in flight for as long as possible. At the rear of the aircraft, you can see the stabilator. Now, in normal operations, this is automatically scheduling to enable the aircraft to uh, get the benefit from a stable platform as possible. And in certain conditions, uh, that won't suit the, uh, the pilot's direction for where he's firing the munitions. So therefore, he can manually control this stabilator to get the best possible launch platform for the weapons.